In this video, we'll be reviewing the new OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. Before jumping straight into the review, we'll be unboxing the product and then taking a look at the accessories and the other things that come with the box. What's the focus? Me, Shaheel, and welcome back to another video. Alright, let's do the unboxing. Now then, let's take a closer look at the bullets while a Z themselves. The neck pen has actually got a rubberized finish to it, which helps in comfort for long-term usage. We can see a OnePlus branding above it with a quick switch button just in front of it for switching between multiple devices. Yeah, it's cool, you can, you can actually do it in this device. And then there's a USB Type-C charging port which supports the great Warp Charge 30T which charges the device fully in just 20 minutes from 10 to 100%. They also claim 10 hours of playback in just 10 minutes of charging. Thumbs up for that, by the way. Moving up, we'll be able to see the media control buttons on the left earbud, which has the volume plus, the volume minus, and the play post multifunction button. And as I said, multifunction meaning that you can use it for several different purposes like attending a call. And then there's the most used part, the earbud portions themselves. This has a 9.2mm dynamic driver in it. The Bullets Wireless 2 had a 10mm driver, but in the Bullets Wireless Z, you get a 9.2mm driver. It's almost undifferentiable, the design and the sound quality, which we'll be talking about in just a minute. But yeah, that is what we get for a solid 2k rupees. And oh, it has also got a magnetic control to it, meaning that putting the magnets together can actually help you pause the media, which is very convenient for easy pausing, especially in cases if your phone is in the pocket and if you want to access the device very quickly. And these headsets are rated to be IP55 water and dust resistant, meaning this can actually withstand splashes of water and sweat. It is actually called sweat resistance. And as in the name, it can withstand sweat and slight rain and a few droplets of water. I haven't tested that but it should hold up pretty well because it also has an IP rating. I can say that the build quality of this device is amazing and it is very comfortable in your ears for long term usage. The material on the neck band is also pretty impressive, it stays there comfortably without any issues. Although I have actually felt it kind of sticking towards my neck. I think it's just my personal concern because, you know, yeah, it's there if you want to know. And that is how the design and the build part goes with the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. Now let's move on to the sound quality part because that is the most important factor in any headset. We'll be looking at the other features of the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z and also some of my experience using it. And I mean to go in a chronological order, meaning we'll start with pairing. The pairing is fast on any given device. Just go to the Bluetooth settings. Just demagnetize the product and then you'll see the product in the Bluetooth list of the device. Just tap to connect and it's that simple. Now if you have a OnePlus device, the pairing part is even easy. It has got a feature called tap to pair, meaning that you can just tap on a notification that comes up and then you can tap to pair it as the name suggests. Now this is OnePlus's take on Apple's quick and fast AirPods and HomePods pairing, which is actually very intuitive unlike the OnePlus one which is having a lot of bug even in the beginning. Most people say that they don't even see the notification and that is a shame. But I still think that it will be a bug and they can fix it within just a single push of an update. Nonetheless, you'll be only pairing a Bluetooth device once. So it's not gonna be much of an issue. Let's move on to sound quality, the most important part in any headset. This is that one part where the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z surprised me. It just blew me away. And talking about sound quality, I actually used it for streaming Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify. The 9.2mm audio drivers are actually amazing than what I anticipated. The mids and highs are bright and on point. And I can see that moreover than becoming like a bass heavy headset or like a treble heavy headset, this is more focusing on the clarity part, meaning that the vocals are very crisp and easy to understand. And talking about the bass, the bass is not actually like too much blowing away kind of bass. The bass is there, 
but I think the bass can be improved a bit. And there is no muffling in the audio or clipping in the audio, which is very good actually, in my opinion, because clipping and muffling are those part which makes any headset very, very bad. Moving on to number three, comfort. In my personal opinion, I have used this headset for more than an hour continuously and I have had no issues with it. And OnePlus has also included extra earbuds, meaning that it will fit in your ear precisely without any falls. But when it's magnetized, you can't like run or walk very hard because if it is magnetized, it's gonna wobble a lot. It's gonna move from left to right, left to right, continuously. Battery and charging. This is the one part where the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z just sweeps out all the competition. Let me tell you why. As we highlighted earlier, this can hold charge up to 20 hours. Meaning that for long flights, this is a perfect choice. And if you're tight on time, you can charge it for just 10 minutes and you have 10 hours of playback right in front of you. I know you can understand the charge by looking at the Bluetooth settings of your device or if your phone does not support that, then you can look at the LED indicator on the headset themselves. If it is blinking red, it means that the charge is low or 10% below. But if it's blinking white, you can understand that it is about 10%. And as I said, the recharging performance is amazing. It supports the all new OnePlus S Warp Charge 30T and the accessories as I said they have also included a Type-C cable because if you don't have a Type-C cable or Type-C phone you can use the Type-C cable included with the headset. That was all of the main things about this headset. Now let's look at some other features. Number one is Quick Switch. Quick Switch is a very easy, convenient and handy feature I'd say. If you're working on a laptop and you have a phone at the same time then this feature is gonna be useful for you. Just pair the OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z with your laptop, then pair it with your phone, or vice versa. Both will work. See, if you're listening to some music while working on the laptop, and if the Bullet Wireless Z is, you know, connected to the laptop, then just double tap to connect it to the phone. This can come handy, especially if you wanna attend a call on the phone. And talking about attending calls, the mic quality is amazing on this headset. Amazing in a way that the person on the other end can even guess that you're using a headset. And you can use the quick switch feature by just double tapping the quick switch button, which is just about the OnePlus branding. Number two is low latency. With every phone that it is connected to, to every device it is connected to, it does not have latency of any kind. Now for gaming, latency is very important, especially low latency for games like PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile. If you ask a pro gamer how important latency is, he can explain that all day. Now if you have a OnePlus phone, you've got something called the OnePlus Fnatic mode, meaning that it would be almost zero lag between the headset and the visuals. Now that is very handy, especially if you're gaming, although Bluetooth headsets are not recommended for gaming. Now let's face the main question, should you buy the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z? Let me clear that question for you. If you have a budget around 2000 rupees and if you want a Bluetooth wireless earphones, then OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z might not disappoint you. If you already have a OnePlus phone and if you're looking for some kind of light gaming, then this is a good choice for you. If you can handle the device not being connected to water and if the base does not matter to you as much, then this device might be a good pick for you. The overall sound quality, as I said, is crisp, it is comfortable, it has got an IP rating. And it is also convenient for calls, quick switch mode, if needing mode. It's an amazing all-rounder. For 2000 rupees, you can only ask so much to a brand. That's been it about the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. I hope you liked this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. Share this video to all your friends and family. Let them also know about the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. And lastly, subscribe to this channel if you didn't already. And just press the bell icon so that you will get notifications of any future videos that I upload. And until we meet the next time, goodbye.